we'll say that was on. What's up, guys? I'm Monty Mott. I'm Nate the Great. And it's your boy Q. And a whole bunch of trailers, y'all. We seen them, okay? And we are here to break them down for you. A lot was going on, uh, Super Sunday, Super Bowl, whatever, Rams. But of course, there are the commercials, there are the ads. Commercials and ads, they aren't really what they used to be just mm -hmm. because of the internet now and everything's, you know, it used to be when I was young, young, they used to be everything, but now it's social media, everything's out fast. You can't hardly hide nothing. But there were some distinct uh, things that went down. Um, we're gonna go through all the trailers uh, just kind of briefly give a synopsis and then rank what we're most excited for. Now, we're going to deal um, with four. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> Jurassic World, Doctor Strange, Nope, and The Lord of the Rings. Now, three of those are movies and one of that is, one of those is a series, but we're going to kind of get into it. So let's start. <clears throat> let's start first with uh, Doctor Strange, which is, of course, because of the pandemic and some things that have happened was supposed to already have been out, but didn't come out. But uh, you know, it's it's coming now, and things a little shift a little bit. So, Nate, your quick impressions of the Doctor Strange trailer. You know, it's funny because you said um, ads and commercials are not what they used to be with the Super Bowl. You know, with the internet and stuff. And it's funny because I didn't even I didn't I didn't even watch the Super Bowl. Um, <laughs> now that I now that I watch like the commercials in between, I saw all the uh, commercials and ads on YouTube. They, mm -hmm. it's a, it was like a, a fifteen minute video of all the um, uh, all the commercials and ads, and I just sat there and watched it. So that's why I actually watched all these trailers. Um, but I'm super excited for Doctor Strange. Man, that trailer was insane. Like, I was just talking to a buddy of mine at work. Um, we talk about Marvel and stuff all the time. Um, but I was just telling him. Sam Raimi is going to just make this movie phenomenal. I already know. I mean, I, I, I don't have any doubts whatsoever that Sam Raimi is about to just take this to the next level. Um, I feel like it's going to launch MCU into another dimension, uh, no pun intended, but huh. I'm, man, this, this, yeah, I'm excited for Doctor Strange. I mean, even, even how they did the trailer, it was incredible. I was like the camera shots and movements. I was like, man, this is a trailer. So yeah, man, that's man. Yeah. Doctor Strange, man, I'm excited. Johnny Q. Your mic, man. You got to turn your mic back on. You can turn your mic off. I got to agree with Nate the Great, man. It's, <clears throat> I don't really, I mean, I'm not, re I'm only a fan of the Falcons. So that's the only games I ever watched. But um, with the trailers that happened throughout all of Super Bowl, I've seen even, I heard one, you know, crazy. I don't want to say it just in case nobody's watched it in the Super Bowl <laughs> the video. So I'm not going to say, but that's crazy to me. Um, but with the Doctor Strange, the thing I'm most, I know this is going to sound really weird, but the thing I'm most interested in is the Illuminati, because uh, they said that they were going to add that in there, but there was six chairs instead of four, because every, every comic book nerds know that it, the, there was four people in the Marvel Illuminati. It was Doctor Strange, uh, Iron Man, uh, Charles Xavier, and it was Mr. Fantastic, right? So I'm very interested to see, I mean, this is literally the gateway to bring, like, everyone in all the part bits and parts of marvels the illuminati is the way to bring them in so i'm very interested in seeing how <laughs> they're going to do this and who the extra two are because like uh, iron man is dead you know so i'm interested to see who the extra two people are for the illuminati i had a rumor that it was actually black panther he was supposed to be one of the six mm -hmm. members and i was like whoa that's kind of that's weird um well okay so let's let's okay so if you saw the doctor strange trailer the the hair on your arm part patrick stewart yes, we sir. don't see patrick stewart but we hear the voice we see the head outline it's got to be patrick stewart which is what mm. he was talking about lines up with the illuminati and um i you know i already heard a rumor for uh because i don't know if they we haven't had mr fantastic since like the early fantastic four movies i heard just a rumor. I don't know if it's even true. They're talking about John Krasinski, who's playing right now, Jack Ryan, and mm -hmm. a couple of things. I don't even know if that's even true. That was just a rumor. But that trailer was outstanding. <laughs> um, Marvel Audit, I mean, they... No, they, they recreated um, Fantastic Four. They did. They did, it but it's still like... Horrible movie, but they're they're not going to use the same. You're going to use somebody else. If they're if yeah. that's what they're going to do, they're going to bring somebody else. And so I love it. Marvel know what they're doing, man. I mean, they this is... But this is huge, because I think Nature said it's the gateway 
um, to you know the new set of MCU um, coming out, and then like Q Johnny Q just said, if that's true with the Illuminati thing, all bets is off. Now we just everybody in. I might, dear Lord, get my Wolverine Hulk moment. Who knows? I mean, it's just it's it's so much. So, but I figure this is what they got to do because, like you said, the old guard is gone. So y'all gonna have to do something. So um, that's the Doctor Strange trailer. We're definitely excited for that we will rank later on we won't get the ratings just yet <clears throat> um i want to go now to uh jurassic world which um now for me i'll say mine first i loved it because they brought back you know so very quickly because jurassic park is so old some of y'all wouldn't even live but you know <laughs> sam neill was way in the first one Jeff Goldblum. Now, Jeff Goldblum was in some of the next iterations, which are decent, not totally bad, decent. You know, some people really rock for like the next set of uh, Jurassic Parks, but uh, bring it, I mean, they look exactly the same. Like they really haven't aged that much. That's true. Plus, you still got Bryce Dallas Howard, Chris Pratt as well, who in these newest iterations, I really, they haven't really moved me very much. But, wow, that's you know, a bold claim, man. I didn't have not. And I, I'm going to tell you, a lot of people from my ilk feel that way. They're just like, okay, yeah. And I like Chris Pratt, you know, Star-Lord, cool. But in this, it's just I have no real connection with him. But to have him with the old guard, that excited me. So let's start. So Johnny Q, give me your thoughts on the Jurassic uh, World trailer. I got to agree with you, Monty. I loved it. It was. I'm really excited to see the movie. Not only that, they they just started putting what feathers on some of the dinosaurs, and they said that's more like historically accurate. And I was watching this um, guy who does like ratings on movies. He was saying that it's good. It, they did it in a perfect way to seem like we never made a mistake because when the when they first the first Jurassic Park movies, there was like what just skin and scales or whatever, right? But they said specifically that this was man engineered. These were their designs with their thoughts. So the fact that new articles are pulling up saying that, oh, dinosaurs had feathers. It was kind of a perfect way to put it in there saying that we per finally perfected how dinosaurs actually looked. I like the science behind it and how they did it and how it literally seems like they never messed up from the very beginning. That was a bold claim. I'm not saying it's wrong or right, but the fact that you said Chris Pat really hasn't moved you, that's crazy, man. Mm. That's, yes. that's mm. wild. But I, me personally, I'm really excited to see this movie. And understand real quick before we go to Nate, the first Jurassic Park came out in 1993. I was in high wow. school. This is before, this was, you gotta watch, there's a Netflix uh, show about how they even came up with, they changed the game. Like if you watch Jurassic Park, it still holds up pretty well. You know what I mean? Even with all the technology, both 1993 till now, that's a long time. So Nate, give, give us yours. Yeah, um, I'm excited too, because I've, I've always been a Jurassic Park fan. Uh, I used to watch with my grandmother or my, you know, my um, my brothers and sisters. Um, and then even when they kind of did like the reboot of it with Chris Pratt, um, it was still enjoyable to watch. Um, I'm excited because they're, they're, this is the last iteration of it, or so they say, until they probably reboot it again. Um, but um, it's interesting how I think in this, in this, this movie, they're going to show how they domesticated the dinosaurs, as you saw in the trailer, um, how they were like um, herds of dinosaurs, almost like horses, and they had like the, the shepherd to kind of like, you know, uh, lead these dinosaurs, you know, to grazing or whatever. Um, so it's just interesting how um, these dinosaurs are going to live among the men and the women on earth. And I'm excited to see what they're going to do. This being the supposed to be the last installment, I'm excited to see how they end off this wonderful franchise. Uh, it's, I don't it's just really fun to sit through. Um, it's, it's, it's something I'm looking forward to. Um, overall honestly no doubt um very excited for this one again like i said just the old and the new mixing it up they know it's gonna be the last iteration at least for this this crew um and you just it's dinosaurs you can't go wrong with dinosaurs everybody loves dinosaurs okay so now we're gonna move on now to a very wow this one here i was not even expecting this trailer i was really shocked when i saw it i knew of the movie but I said, oh, this is this. And we're talking, of course, about Nope, uh, which is the third uh, movie from the mastermind, the Oscar winner, Mr. Jordan Peele. And hey, man, like, I, should, I, I don't even know. I'm going to start with you, Nate. Just 
Any thoughts you got on Nope? I'm going to just say Jordan Peele is incredible. Like, <laughs> if you even watch the trailer, like how he how he went about uh, uh, presenting what's to come, it was like, first off, I love that, that he didn't give away too much. I hate when directors or companies or producers, whatever, hey that. they, they love so much information in the trailer. Like, after I watch a three-minute trailer, I know the movie from beginning, yeah. middle, and end. I hate that. But Jordan Peele... <sighs> God, he he doesn't reveal anything. Now, I have a theory that the whole movie is going to be about um, aliens, just how everything is set up. But honestly, I don't know. I mean, it literally could be about anything. But what I will say is not for a single doubt that I, do I think that he's going to miss with this movie. I, he did great with uh, Get Out. He did great with Us. And <laughs> this Note movie is about to just, I uh, just... Man, and even when watching the trailer, it was an eerie feeling throughout the whole thing. Even when the title card came down, it was just... Everything about this trailer was amazing. So I know that the movie's going to be amazing. I, I'm just, man, I'm excited for this movie. Johnny Q. I just want to take a second and to, to admire the evolution of Jordan Peele. I mean, you, we used to see him on like Comedy Central, stuff like that with uh, Michael Key. But like, look at, I mean, dear God, look at him now. I'm My favorite movie, hands down, was Us from him. He, I don't know, it was just something about Us. And then the way it ended with, mom being the clone or whatever that was just it opens your mind that, and that's what he does he opens your mind to all types of new possibilities right because i've never heard him once in any interview or any, anything talking about him making a two of a movie so the fact that nope is just i really am excited because like nate said i he's not gonna miss this he's not gonna miss i'm really excited to see this movie ah. and i honestly it kind of opens my mind and i know this is like kind of shifting topics just a little I'm one. I'm curious to see what uh, Michael could do if Jordan is doing this well. I mean, they were the dynamic duo. I wonder if oh, Michael, Michael could actually Michael. make a movie something like something this great. I mean, he's Jordan is building an empire, so I'm, I'm interested. On, to see. A, on a side note, before uh, we go to uh, uh, Monty, um, I do want to also say that I'm excited to see Kiki Palmer back on the big screen. Hey, um, yeah. it's been a, it's been a minute since we've really seen her do something. What's big up, like Kiki? So, so I, yeah, I know I'm, I'm super excited. I love Kiki. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's. I'm glad you said that too. Um, I I concur with both of you guys. Like, first of all, Nate, Lynn, please, movie studios, directors, we do not need the whole movie for the trailer. Trust me, we gonna watch it. Mm -hmm. Um, I hate that, but he intrigues you, and you still be like, I don't know what's gonna happen in this month. <laughs> like, I'm very intrigued. I got no idea. It it just it captivated. I was just watching like, yo, what in the world is this? Which is brilliant in and of itself. You know, he ain't exactly. got to give you all the plot. I remember when I watched the uh, when I watched the trailer for us, I was just like, I have no idea where yeah. we're going with this mug. But the thing about it is, and Johnny Q talked about his progression. When you accomplish what he's accomplished, when you listen, you get that gold statue, you get the keys, man, and you get more rope to do things that you would like to do. Um, operate on the level you like to operate on. Like, that's what I we talked about in the, um, when we talked about Boba Fett and how they took a whole episode and basically made it a Mandalorian episode. That would never happen 20 years ago. But mm -hmm. because of what John Favreau's accomplished, because of the content wars and people just are letting these guys create and they're not all on their backs, you're seeing being able to take more chances. Two whole episodes of WandaVision where they just back in throwbacks they would never have done that, but because, and so even with these movie guys, Jordan Peele can just do whatever he wants and just let his mind go. He's got the studios not telling him, I promise you, you can just tell he's, he's be able to do whatever yeah. he wants. And I'm here for it, man. Let him, let him, let him cook, you know, mm -hmm. let Donald Glover cook, you know, let these cats do what they do, man, because it's great stuff coming out of it. So very excited for Nope. Um, so finally, we then have, um, and now this is hugely uh, anticipated coming out. This is the Lord of the Rings um, pre prequel. I we had Lord of the Rings. Then we had a Hobbit, and then we now we've just going. I don't know how far we're going back, but this is now. This is Amazon. If I'm right, this is Amazon, I believe, mm -hmm. and they're putting a lot of money in this. And this is a series. Now, with a series, you know, you're more a little more lenient, um, and people are got huge expectations for this. So, Johnny Q, give us your thoughts on the Lord of the Rings. Now, have you watched the Lord of the Rings? You, you up on I have. 
And yeah. that's what I was just about to say. I, was like, I remember being super young when I first watched The Order of the Rings. And I just remember sitting on the couch and I was like, this movie is so long. <laughs> and I was like, yo, what is... And I kind of... I don't want to say I kind of lost the the, me, or the feeling of it because if I remember correctly, that movie had like four different endings. Like it just kept... Like it was some great big and then some... I want to tell a story about that later, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and that just kept happening. So like, I don't want to say I was disappointed towards the end, but I remember that movie kind of started off really strong. And for it to end like that, would like, yeah, I was just like, oh, wow, all right. So the fact that they're making this a series, I don't know. So I definitely am intrigued. I'm not saying it's going to be bad or anything, right? Amazon does some pretty great things. The boys, uh, Invincible, they do, they, they do some pretty great things when it comes to like mystical magic power stuff, right? So I'm definitely intrigued to see how they do it. But I wouldn't say I have strong, like, oh, my gosh, can't wait for this to come out. I just hope that they do better than what they did before. That's fair. That's fair. Nate? All right. So I'm going to say I'm not, like, super, super stoked about this uh, series. I mean, I think it's going to be probably a dope, you know, series and all. But um, I've never been, like, a uh, like I had a cult following with, Lord of the Rings, like some other people. I know there's some series and movies out there that people just really love, like, um, you know, Harry Potter and, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings is, is a big one. Um, I've watched the Lord of the Rings, um, you know, Twin Towers and uh, all these other, you know, uh, the, 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 trilo- the trilogy. Hey, nerds, he meant two towers, not twin towers, nerds. Don't, don't. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. See, that, that, ah! just, that just goes to show. Um, so, I mean, I've seen the movies and they're, they're great, but um, I'm interested to see how this fits in um, canonically, if that's how you, if that's how you say the word. Because, like you said, Monty, they had the Hobbit, which is the prequel to the to the Rings, the Lord of the Rings series, and now they're going even further back. And I'm like, man, how far does this go back? You know? And then it's just it's it's going to be interesting. I, I don't I don't want to say I have high hopes, but I don't also want to say that. Um, uh, I just don't care because it seems interesting. So I, I, if it comes on or when it comes on Prime Video, I think I'm going to check it out definitely. Um, but um, but yeah, I mean, it's, I just feel like it's one of those series that I'm just going to just kind of just watch, just kind of see how how things played in. And I never actually watched The Hobbit, so maybe I need to watch that first before even watching this. I don't. You never seen The Hobbit? Wow. Yeah. I didn't. I started The Hobbit and I did not finish. So for me, I'm going to tell you what I did, guys. I remember when Lord of the Rings came out, and then. Um, the first one, then the, tw- the she almost made me say it. Twice. <laughs> Two Towers came out. And then I said, because I this was one of the first times where they filmed the whole trilogy and they were waiting. One came out, one came out. I said, I don't, I'm like, I'm going to just go through all of them. So I remember I rented the first two. This is one afternoon. I had Hobbit coming out my ears. I, I watched the first one. I watched the second one. And then I went to the movies for the third one. And I'm telling you, this has really happened. The third one is notorious. People remember this. There's so many endings. We kept getting up in the theater, like, you know, and Frodo Baggins is on his way. I was like, bro, that was a good dinner. And Samwise, I was like, oh, oh, we okay. Oh, we, we got up like three times. I was like, well, how is this movie ending? Was it, it was getting on my nerves. But it's it's what we call epic. And I know a lot of people are they're anticipating this because this is, you know, I mean, I know Game of Thrones has one coming out too. Um pretty soon and let me make sure hold on because i for the nerds this is lord of rings this is called the rings of power mm-hmm. um i'm intrigued i'm intrigued to see how how it goes I, I this is what i don't like and then they're not i don't think they're gonna do this but like there's a show called better call saul and i never really got into better call saul now breaking bad is one of the greatest <laughs> tv shows of all time look it up it's, it is better call saul is the story of the lawyer from Breaking Bad and it's a prequel, right? I could never get into it just because I figure whatever trouble the lawyer get into, I know he's still alive because he's in, you know, I hate that. But yeah. if you go further back with totally new people, then the stakes are high. Somebody could go, but you know what I'm saying? So that's that's the only thing that will intrigue me. Um, but uh, other than that, yeah, you know, I'm kind of like, okay, cool. Let's see, let's see if we go with this. Let's see if we go with this. But. See, now you got me on a tangent because I don't like that whole when you, you just said it, like when you go further back and you see a character that you used to know, they're not going to die. Like, yeah. um, I had this beef. I was talking to a friend about it, about how, why did they kill off uh, T'Challa in Black Panther when we literally just saw the Infinity War trailer talking about get this man a shield. I mean, he's not going to die. That was like yeah. a 20 minute snake. Like we could have replaced that with anything else. But yet, oh, he's dead. 
So oh, wait, he's not. Like we know this. We know he's not dead. So that's what that's really what I can't stand about prequels. But for to go on to have two movies, no, sorry, three, and then to turn it into a show, that's a little scary. You know, that's what that's why I was like not really because that you have to it's one thing to be like a movie character, okay, we're doing this for six months, great, whatever, right? We're done. But when you go into a show, you become that character for a lot longer, right? So to have them having this show and then having so much extra dialogue, they have to really develop these characters well. And I'm, I know Amazon can do that. So I'm not really worried about that. But to switch from them, because there's not that many shows that do prequels. I mean, there are some, but there's not that many shows that do that. So to switch from a movie to a show and then have it be a prequel to something that everyone loves, it's very dangerous yeah. waters. That usually movies that have like a, a, a series or a trilogy that end up going to a show, it's a it's it's in the you know it's in the future. They continue the story. They don't usually go back with shows. So, so it's right. going to be interesting. But kind of on a side note, but kind of on the same topic, I would love for them to you know tackle on more projects with the Chronicles of Narnia or Percy Jackson or something like mm. that. It's wow. it's been a long time since we've seen that, and we they've done so much with um, uh, Lord of the Rings. They have you know so much with them and the Hobbit and stuff, and even with uh, you know Harry Potter, they really exhaust themselves with all of these books. And so I would like for them to kind of explore some of these because we only got like three, four movies out of Chronicles of Narnia, and there's still like yeah. there's still like three or four more books that they haven't even touched yet. And I'm not even, I'm not saying that they're the same company that does it, but I mean like generally speaking, those uh, those sci-fi fantasy movies, there's a lot out there that um, is still you know untapped potential. So I would like for them you know someone to focus on that. Instead of kind How of, would you continue the Chronicles, though? Because like I said, they kind of buttoned that up kind of perfectly. You follow the character. You watch these people grow well, up. See, so how would you continue that? I was just about to say, don't think that a lot of executives are not going to watch and see the success of this with Lord of the Rings. Because if it's successful, then that means, you know what? Mm -hmm. We can just make something up and label it Narnia. Yeah. You know, we can just, if the fans really will go for it, I'm telling you, a lot of these um, these franchises... Lord, I don't know. Harry Potter, what was it like eight movies? Good Lord. I mean, but if, if it works. They continue Harry Potter, though, with the well, uh, yeah. Fantastical Beast. Yeah, they're, that's if continued. it works and it makes money, they will do it. Don't, you know, but they're going to probably look at this because it's like you say, uh, Nate, it was not really in canon. So they're just going to kind of mm. piece it together. And if it's successful, you will see them branching out and doing a whole lot of stuff. So um, it's going to be very interesting to see. So let's quickly then, before we go, we'll give our rankings. Um, one to four. I mean, we, we're all we're in for everything, but just from uh, least to favorite, we're gonna go four, three, two, one. Okay, all right, so Johnny Q. I'm gonna start with you from the fourth, third, second, and first of what we talk about. What are you most excited for? Uh, nope, uh, Multiverse of Madness, Jurassic World, and the Power of the Ring. Okay, cool. So wait, wait, you go on the other way. So you that was was nope number one? Nope was number one, yeah. Okay, see, I oh, you said four one. to oh shoot, sorry. Four to yeah. one. So yeah, so, so we're running back. So you said power of the ring, uh Jurassic World, uh multiverse of madness, and nope. And nope. Okay, okay, all right. Nate, give me yours. Ah oh, man, this is hard. Um, so the last the latter two are gonna be the same as Q's. It's gonna be uh Lord uh Lord of the Rings, Jurassic World. I'm actually torn between the two, but I'm going to be a little biased here uh, and go with Nope and then uh, Multiverse, Multiverse of Madness. Um, I'm, I'm probably exactly like yours, Nate. I'm a little more on Multiverse of Nope. I'm excited, super excited for Nope, but yes, Power of the Ring, uh, Jurassic World, um, then Nope, and then, and, 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 and then I just feel Multiverse could be just... I mean, they already, they were talking about cameos galore. It's a Tom Cruise rumor out here. I heard that, about that. He's going to be uh, Tony Stark. Well, you know what's so crazy? Um, the fact that uh, Spider-Man is still making big money and it just surpassed Avatar. Yes, it did. That yes, used it did. to be the talk of town. And Avatar, the fact that Marvel oh is still, you know, superseding itself is, is so crazy to me. Like, this is going to be the next big thing since Spider-Man. And Spider-Man just came out, like, in December. Man, it's... only reason why I'm not so I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I definitely want to see it, but I've never kind of delved deep into um the Scarlet Witch. I've never been like, oh, like a die-hard fan of her. Don't get me wrong, great power set, great story arc. I'm not even talking about the WandaVision, I'm talking about in the comic books. So I mean I've skimmed over her story arc, but I've never been like delved so deep into her story. So I don't really know what to expect really from her, whether it's going to be canon 
to the com- to Marvel Comics or canon to the MCU. So I, that's why I'm not like, but mm-hmm. I I know what to expect from Jordan, and that's why I mean that's really why I'm excited to see that. Yeah, I know what to expect from Jordan, the unexpected. So there we go. Like I don't, you know. There we go. Yeah. So, guys, let us know what you think. Um, list yours if you want to list yours. We got more coming, of course. Um, we're, we're coming up for we've seen it. We're gonna have to talk about. Um, I got some people want to talk about Bel Air. I know that's the first couple episodes yeah. out of that. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm gonna probably this weekend get into that. Um, of course, then um, there's uh. Uncharted. I got some folks going to talk about that as well. That's a big movie about to come out as well. We're trying to see, man. I mean, it's it's so much to tackle and so many different things out there. We're trying to narrow it down, but please check us out. We've seen the crew on the Mighty Sharp Network. Of course, thank you to my guys for being on. You know what to do, guys. Be blessed and stay sharp.